Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. I nostri programmi sono offerti in molte lingue. Consultate suprememastertv.com barra schedule. Let heavens judge your action. Don't care about how humans judge you. But sometimes the human wakes up centuries afterward and, and judge the leader or whoever did the right thing again in the right light. Okay? Yes, yes ma'am. It doesn't matter. You just have to do the right thing. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English. With subtitles in Arabic, Oluxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Kateru Darivagit is nice to meet you in Inuktoit, one of the official languages of Nunavut. My name is Emma. The charming people of Nunavut appreciate your encouragement. That helps many to have confidence. Nunavut is the newest and largest territory of Canada. It was created to honor the Inuit people who live in this vast northern region. A portion of Nunavut is a large archipelago of many islands, most of which are covered with snow and ice. Hardy animals such as the caribou, fox, wolf, and grizzly bear can be found in land regions, while polar bears, seals, and walruses populate the coast. Beluga, bowhead whales, and narwhals inhabit the archipelago's coastal waters. During the summer, Nunavut becomes home to millions of migratory birds that nest in the region. The Nunavumiad people believe that they do not own the land. They are simply stewards who need to care for and preserve it for future generations. In this spirit, the Nunavut government created the program Parks and Special Places, which designates protected areas and ensures their sustainable use. The program's success can already be seen in places like the Kazan Heritage River region, which provides safe migration for some 500,000 caribou each year. Nunavut's government also upholds traditional values with its consensus-style approach. There are no political parties, and decisions in government are made the Inuit way, with listening, cooperation, and mutual respect. It is a privilege to share a glimpse of stunning Nunavut with you, kind viewers. We pray to God to shower you and your loved ones with immense blessings. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. 
The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped World Honored One, Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped Son of God, Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds. Etc. 
We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving, plant-based diet and envisions, with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. In another work-related phone call on Monday, October 26, 2020, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today we are blessed to present the insightful call conference entitled We All Have a Duty to Protect Ourselves and Others, Part 3 of 6, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English. Warning, you might find the content herein disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. People don't really choose a leader. It is the collective karma of the nation or world and God's will that choose a leader. If karma's candidate and God's candidate are not the same, will God's will always win in this matter? Not always. Not always. Example of Jesus Christ. Okay? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. He didn't want to do anything to anybody. He just preached people to do good. Yeah? Yes. yes. But even then, there are other oppositions. Even the governments at that time fear that he might take over their throne or their power. See? Yes, yes Master. Yes, Master. Uh, many forces might uh, sometimes overwhelm God's chosen person. Okay? Yes. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. So, uh, but uh, at the moment, in, in our world, Maybe because more people are vegan, more uh, people practice spiritually. So even though the good uh, people, good leaders, uh, good masters and teachers, they have been uh, attacked or their name uh, blemished or given fake, uh, you know, accusation and fake news and bad news about them. But at least they are not killed are not tortures, but maybe they are not always the winner of the race. It depends also if the world is already clean at that time, okay? Yes. yes. yes and how much more people have merit in this world, how meritorious that country is also, okay? Yes, yes Master. Yes. All right, thank you. The crying can ask now. Master. Uh, with the ongoing cleansing, could the planet's atmosphere lighten to a degree such that through the power of World Vegan Prayer and Master's teachings and love through Supreme Master TV, people suddenly start waking up and embracing veganism on a much faster and wider scale than now? You pray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
not suddenly, but you pray, okay? Yes, yes, I wish that is true, what you wish. I wish the same, what you wish. I dream the same as your dream. Okay. Yes, but I have some positive feeling. That's all I can tell you, okay? Uh, yes, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Other things I cannot tell you. Honestly, I can't, okay? Yes, yes Master. All right. Uh, but you will know when the time comes. Yes, ma'am. And keep praying, yeah? Yes. yes we and the so-called fellow disciples continue praying to God Almighty, to the universal positive power, to the cosmic benevolent beings, to the master powers, to the ultimate master power, to all the Yosuke goddesses and beyond. To keep praying. Before you meditate, you pray. After you meditate, you thank, okay? Yes, yes Master. Master. They are working fast and furiously. It's just the time in heaven and the time here is completely different. Also, the heavy burden of karma of this time of our development is too, too heavy, too, too heavy, too much, much, much incredibly, unfathomably heavy. You understand? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Oh, I remember the AP last time. Yes. They say many Buddha will come down, but they even will be trapped. So if there is no true master power at this time, all these Buddha Bodhisattva will be locked forever. I mean, not forever, but many, many Ian, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Even for, for, for sharing the karma of other beings on this planet at this time. Just sharing and helping only, you would be locked forever even like that. Wow. Imagine. Okay. Wow. I tell you a secret. I also have to lend a hand. I mean, using almighty power, master power to save some of the masters wow. in, our, in our time. Okay? Wow. Otherwise, their disciples, karma, their... Other world karma would drown them in, in hell. Sorry. Wow. Wow. Thank you. I don't want to tell who is who, okay? Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. But that's the, the truth I have never told you. Just by the way, I tell you, just to let you know, lucky are the ones who escape this time. Really fortunate. Extraordinarily fortunate. Super, super fortunate. Yes, Master. Yes. Don't take everything for granted, okay? Yes, yes Master. Master. Meditate well, pray all the time. Be grateful all the time for your blessing. Yes, yes Master. Master. Thank you, Master. Uh, given that people tend to protest against government actions that limit their freedom, mm. even though those actions may be good for them, such as lockdowns or mask-wearing requirements, how can leaders avoid this when applying a meat ban? Oh, they just have to be courageous. They just have to do the right thing. Yes, yes, master. yes master. At least, even if you don't succeed, you know you do the right thing and your conscience will be at peace. True, yes, true. Yes. Yes. If you keep waiting for everybody to approve of you, then you work for fame only. Yes, yes, yes. 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 All the master has been working in difficulty, in oppressed situations, but they continue. A lot of people attack them or wounded them inside or outside, or all kind of things, but they continue because they don't work for fame. They work for people. They work for the will of God. Yeah? Yes. yes they want to rescue the suffering beings. That's the way any so-called leader should do. If you claim yourself to be a leader, leaders should do only the right thing no matter what. Yes. Yes, yes Master. You know you do the right thing, yes. okay? Yes, Master. And let heavens judge your action. Don't care about how humans judge you. But sometimes the human wake up centuries afterward and, and judge the leader or whoever did the right thing again in the right light, okay? Yes, yes Master. It doesn't matter. You just have to do the right thing. Don't care who says what. If you know in your heart that's the right thing, then you do it. Ordinary people should also do that, not to talk about the leaders, yeah? Yes, yes. yes, yes Master. Of course, it might not be uh, simple and smooth, but, you know, there are many ways you can change the world, change the society. Many people 
have done that in the past. So in the present, we can. If the government doesn't want people to eat meat anymore, then first they have to stop all the slaughterhouses, all the livestock industry, close them all down. Yes, yes, master. yes master. Give these business owners some subsidies so that they can turn that into another kind of farming, because they say that's animal farm. So they can turn that into vegetable farm and fruit farm. They already have people, have employees, they have land, big buildings. They can turn all that into a greenhouse to grow vegetables instead of imprisoning and killing animals inside. Yes, Master. Yes, master. And if there's no meat to sell, then there's no people who can buy. And so there will be some sneaking uh, business maybe in the beginning, but then that's easy. You can gradually all control them, or ban them. And anybody who, who wants to eat meat, they have to <laughs> find a way, find the animals first to go hunting or something, and have to kill it themselves, see if they can do it. Most people don't like to kill the animals when they're facing them. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma תרי תרי לחלק או לארוז? Around the globe, millions of people have made the connection and stopped eating animals. For more details, please visit vegan-friendly.co.il and suprememastertv.com forward slash b-veg. Because it's instinctively they feel that it's a murder of a living being. Thus, it will be automatically mostly minimized. The government has to broadcast all this in advance, warn people in advance that animal business, meat eating, selling, eggs and dairy, they're all very, very detrimental to people's health and happiness, killing children and elderly alike. Yes, Master. Must educate people everywhere. Must encourage the local governments to put billboards on newspapers, radios, television, broadcasting all these information to people, day in, day out. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. And have some agency to answer all people's questions if they want to know more. There should be websites for people with easy access to look for information about meat harmful effects. All this is not so difficult to be done. It's easy. It takes just some courage from the leadership of the countries and the supporting system of the government. It can be done. Yes, we can. Yes. Yes, yes, Master. There is nothing impossible in this world. Yes, Master. We go to the moon and go into Mars already. We're going to Venus next. All this planning, why we are not taking care of our planet. It's easier to take care of things down here when we are already here. Yes, yes Master. Master. So first take care of this planet. And then we can see other celestial bodies elsewhere. I don't understand why we can conquer the moon, or want to conquer Mars and Venus, and cannot even take care of our little problem down here, just to stop eating animals. That's all there is. I don't see any excuse. 
Yes, Master. I don't see any hindrance. I don't see any trouble at all, except it makes people more healthy, a healthy nation, strong, powerful spirit, intelligent, healthy children, and more and more jobs for people, more healthy jobs, conscientious work for all the people. It will be a thriving industry, you know, organic, vegan farming. It already is. It's already growing in number. Just need a strong leadership, that's all. Yes, yes Master. Master. Either a strong little woman or a strong little man. I want to see some of the leaders grow up to be a hero, to be a man, to be a real leader, to be a real lady leader, not just professional politician fighting for votes and talking bad about each other any time just to win votes and then planning to take neighbors' uh, countries' land or fighting for a piece of island somewhere or uh, pulling all the hard-earned tax money into producing weapons just to kill. I want to see something of the opposite direction from the leadership of the world. We can do it. Yes, we can. Yes, yes. yes Master. I don't know why the leaders or the governments don't see the logic of it. Instead of paying millions, billions, trillions just to cure people from pandemic or even incurable disease year after year, instead of stopping the root cause of it. Yes, yes Master. Master. Instead of all this wasted money in war, in uh, treating diseases or pandemic, and lock people down and damaging the economy of the country and of the world, put the world in the standstill like this, You're spending a lot of money and suffering for the people, anxiety for every family and the government. Yes, yes Master. Master. Why don't just change the root cause of it? Eliminate the root cause and give all this wasteful money to be the subsidies for the animals farming industry, then they will turn around. The reason they make meat business is because it earns them money. So if the governments grant them enough money to restart their life, they'd be willing to do it. Yes, yes. Master. And the reason why the workers work in meat or eggs or dairy or, or laboratories is just because they want to earn money. So as long as they can earn money, they would not mind what to do. They would not mind whether or not to kill the animals or to plant the vegetables. Planting vegetables is easier. Not so bloody, not so filthy, smelly, and not sitting, and not so conscience damaging to people's emotional, mental, and psychological feelings. Yes, 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 yes So all in all is a win-win-win-win situation. So I think the government should change the policy and ASAP. Adorable viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled We All Have a Duty to Protect Ourselves and Others, Part 3 of 6, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 119, King Jayabaya's vision of the Queen of Peace and Justice, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May the heavens bless your lives with much joy and beauty. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.